interview one, the patient was referred to me after the incident with Dr. Murphy. He appears to have suffered a breakdown of sorts. I believe it was brought about after the loss of his wife and child. As yet, the patient has been unable to speak. Continued observation shows little mental activity. It's as if the shock of what he saw triggered his mental collapse. There's someone in here! Tim, we found him! Break down the door! Note to self, as ever, it is difficult to continue my research under such conditions. Step away from Dr. Cole! Now! Get down on the ground! We found him. Someone get a medic. Oh, God, what's he done to him? Patient interview six. Dr. Crane has been back in custody for three weeks. Regular sessions have been inconclusive. I am not sure he is actually insane. Good evening, Stephen. How are you tonight? I'm conducting the session, Jonathan. Of course. If that helps you cope, I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's talk about the events three weeks ago. What did you think you'd achieve? Dr. Murphy is still in therapy. I wanted to understand him. His personal demons, his fears. It's all quite fascinating, really. But you are... were a respected doctor. A brilliant mind. Now just another resident in Arkham. Can I have a drink? A strong one? This kind of question bores me. I'm afraid not. Interesting choice of words, Doctor. Tell me, what are you afraid of? Patient interview 9. Dr. Crane continues to evade questions. I believe he is quite sane, just evil. He takes no interest in the people he has hurt. His research appears to be the only motivating factor in his life. What is it about fear that drives your obsession? Fear drives everything, Stephen. Everything. Your life is governed by fear. Every decision you make is a product of that fear. Don't be ridiculous. You married your wife. Margaret, isn't it? Because you were scared of dying alone. You have children because you're scared of leaving nothing behind that really matters. You go to the doctors because you're scared of dying. Do I need to go on? No. I think that will be all for today. Guards? Today I have another interview with Crane. I cannot say I am looking forward to it. I have been feeling anxious. I don't like to admit it, but I think he's getting to me. How are you today? I keep telling you, this is my session. It was your session, Doctor, but not anymore. Are you okay, Doc? Uh, I think... Uh, yes, I... Oh, he's fine! Just questioning his grip on reality. You should be doing the same any second. What? Huh? Is that you? Wait, what are you doing? Get off of me. Help! I need help here! I can't breathe! <laughs> like I said, you're all part of my experiment now. <laughs> Asylum interview one. My experiment is underway. Working alone, I have created my ultimate fear gas. Its potency, a revelation. Ah, ah, they're all over me! Please, Daddy. Don't do it! Ah, ah. Keep away! Keep away! Keep away! Keep away! I have pumped enough gas into the medical center to break a hundred minds. It should only be a matter of time before... What? Give it up. Now! How... How are you still standing? How come it's not affecting you? Who says it's not? I knew it. What was it like? What have you seen? Officer Cash, get this formula to the air conditioning system now. You failed, Crane. Again. I've been working with Dr. Kellogg in creating an antidote to the toxins in your cologne. He fooled you, Crane. How does that make you feel? Threatened? Humiliated?